Top 25. Hey, Zero here, and today I'm gonna be showcasing my top 25 cards in my collection. Spoiler alert, it's all hockey. Actually, hold on. Not that I don't have other sports, I actually have quite a few miscellaneous other sports cards in here. I'm pretty sure I don't think any of these will make the top 25. Yeah, definitely not. So yeah, the top 25 is all hockey. And yes, typically I do this in December. The reason why I'm doing it now in November is because the Fall Expo is coming up and I don't know what I'm doing with my collection. Throw in the explosion because that might happen. I don't know yet. I might sell some stuff. I might buy some stuff. I don't know what's going to happen. So let's do it now. I will put values for the cards. So let's start off with 25. And by the way, this is the first year that Future Watch autos aren't the majority. There's only 12 this year compared to like 16 last year probably like 18 the year prior but number 25 is a Sidney Crosby 2021 actually a 1920 update best in the world auto so there you go still don't have a price on this card pulled is my first box what a pull I just haven't seen these pop up for sale at all extremely rare card the 2021 best in the world is like one in 45,000 packs really cool card there it takes the number 25 spot for this year number 24 is a future watch auto and I tried not to include duplicates I think this is probably the only card that'll have a duplicate in here I'm pretty sure because one is raw and one's graded but Patrick Kane future watch auto my second best example of the Kane Future Watch Auto. I do have three of these. This is a pretty nice raw one there. There you go. Number 24 is Kane. Number 23 is this Elias Pedersen Future Watch Auto. So there's another Future Watch Auto Elias Pedersen Min Gem there. It's number 23 right there for the Canucks. Number 22. Last month I'll have this card sending this out to Greg, but this Andre Vasilevsky Cup RPA. 1415 Cup RPA there. Really nice card. It's the last time I'll be able to show this card. So there you go. Cup RPA Vasilevsky. Number 21. Wayne Gretzky. 1920 clear cut. 1819 clear cut. Hockey Heroes Auto. A J Max sent me this in the mail. Awesome Gretzky auto there. So my only Gretzky auto. That makes the list. Makes number 21. Number 20. Why haven't I got this grade yet? It's still in the redemption tape. It's Nathan McKinnon. Future Watch Auto. I'm down to two of these. Had three. Down to two. Might be down to only one soon here. It'll be this one. But yeah, McKinnon's stuff is dipped for sure. McCarr's pretty much overtaken him in the hobby, which is interesting. We'll see how it turns out. I'm not saying that's the wrong thing, but there you go. There's McKinnon. Future Watch Auto for number 20. Number 19. The only duplicate here. It's the Patrick Kane. Future Watch Auto. BGS 9. The edges are always brutal with these. 708 future watch auto and you get a nine on the edge and 8.5 on the corners there is solid so there you go patrick kane future watch auto number 19 number 18 there's only been one ebay sale of this is tim stutzla future watch auto inscribed so yeah only one sale of this otherwise I've been on skid as late norris is out long term but there you go tim stutzla future watch auto makes a list and number 17 fellow german leon dreisaitl future watch auto just have a rock copy of dreisaitl here we'll have a bit of a string of future watch autos here there will be more variety the further we get into the list but there you go Dry Sidle Future Watch Auto, number 17. Two Germans in the top 25. Number 16, another Future Watch Auto. Then we have some variety here, but Mitch Marner, Future Watch Auto inscribed. Number 29 of 999. Card I've had since 2017. Another card I just haven't graded yet. I don't know if I'm gonna do any grading at the expo yet. I'm not sure, but there you go. This will be a candidate. Marner Future Watch Auto inscribed. All right, number 15. We got some variety here. Got this Connor McDavid. 15, 16 contours, aka Upper Deck's attempt at Crown Royal, except it's kind of weird. Rookie Jersey Auto for 199. I mean, it's an on card auto, which is cool, but there you go, McDavid Contours, Rookie Jersey Auto. There you go, there's McDavid. Number 14, we got an Austin Matthews Exquisite Collection Rookie Signatures, the 49. There you go, that's a BGS 9. Good subs on there. 10 Auto, which is tough with Matthews. Probably shouldn't get a 10 Auto there, but this is probably graded a couple years back at least. So there you go, this was inserted in Upper Deck Ice back in 16, 17. Used to have the McDavid version of this, but sold it a year ago. I think it was a top 25 last year, but there you go, Austin Matthews Rookie Signatures. Number 13, like the Matthews, bought this card this year. I need to get this in a good case, but we got Alex Ovechkin. 1314 the cup signature patches hatch auto it's a logo patch there three of 25 so Ovi now holds the record for most goals with one franchise greatest goal scorer of all time I would say I'm glad to have a really nice cup patch auto of him number 12 card I pulled like a year and a half ago another mildly greasy case there what the heck but 1516 Fleer showcase hot prospects RPA Connor McDavid the 299 hold this it's like a one color patch it's barely a patch it's like a jersey card there condition on these are not great this would probably get like a PSA 7 for sure there but there you go, Connor McDavid, Hot Prospects, Rookie Auto Pat, 299. Takes number 12. And number 11, probably the most important card in the collection. This is probably the most untouchable card in my collection. I refuse to get rid of this card under any circumstance. We got the Connor McDavid, 1617 Cup Foundations, Quad Jersey Auto, 8 of 15. I'm probably never going to match that reaction. I could pull something. Even better than that, probably never get that same reaction. What that video did for the channel makes this card my most sentimental card easily in the collection, I would say. But there you go, McDavid. Takes number 11. I'm pretty sure he's in here six times. All right, now in the top. 
110. Card that hasn't sold in a while. Probably had to make an executive decision on how much this card's worth. I don't know if I should even throw up a value, but Austin Matthews, 1617 Platinum. Rookie autographs, Red Prism, 31 of 50. So yeah, his Platinum rookie autos rarely pop up. In terms of numbered rookie autographs, this is the highest numbered one, number to 50. In later years, and even McDavid's year, the year prior, there were several higher numbered cards like the White Ice and the Tracks. Oh, nope, Red Prism was the highest numbered back in 1617. I guess they didn't make too many boxes of this stuff because what? It was gold, then orange, and then emerald surge, and the 101 was pretty much the only other numbered options for bottom rookie autos for Matthews. So, yeah, glad to have this one. Really nice card there. 10 autograph on Matthews there. The centering does this card in, even though it's not that bad. They probably could have given it a nine, but there you go. Matthews, platinum rookie auto. All right, number nine, a card I've had in the collection for a long time is this Mitch Marner Future Watch Auto Black Gold Ink from 1617 SBA. A card I bought from the expo in 2018 there. Almost bought a Marner Cup RPA earlier this year. It fell through, but here we go. There's a Future Watch Auto Black of Marner. That's number Number nine. Number eight. We got a 1516 SBA card. More Connor McDavid. This is a great white north auto. BGS 9.5. So this is a rookie year McDavid auto there from 1516 SBA. This card has a really low pop. These rarely pop up. Why I bought it in the first place. SBA auto. That's extremely rare there. So there's McDavid on Canada. We haven't seen McDavid play for Team Canada in the Olympics yet. She's really unfortunate there, but really nice card there. Great white north. Connor McDavid. Number seven. I think it's my only Panini card in here. National Treasures RPA. The 99 of Nathan McKinnon. 1314 National Treasure. EGS 9.5 there. Autograph gets a 9, which, yeah, I guess that makes sense. Yeah, really nice logo patch there. I mean, if I don't get the price I want for it, I'm just gonna hold on to it. As this is one of McKinnon's nicest rookies, so. There you go. National Treasures RPA of McKinnon takes number, what? What are we at here? 7, I believe. Alright, number 6. New addition to the collection this past year. The Connor McDavid 1516 Platinum. Rookie Auto Purple. Rainbow Purple. Ooh. 11 of 15 there. EGS 7.5. Got violently choo-choo trained on the centering there. Got a 7 on the centering. That would have been a 0.5 higher. This would have been an 8. I feel like this could be an 8. Granted, the other subs overgraded the heck. So yeah, it's a weird card there. But hey, it's the number 6 spot. I wanted a McDavid Platinum rookie. I'd open 8 boxes of Platinum. Didn't pull a single McDavid Platinum. So finally bought one. Second lowest numbered one other than the Golden Treasure. So there you go. Number 6. McDavid Platinum Auto there. The purple. Alright, the top 5 and the next 4 are pretty much interchangeable. But get the Austin Matthews. Future Watch Auto. Inscribe. BGS 9.5. 1617. SBA. There you go. Four goal game, October 12, 2016, 42 and 999. Graded this a year ago. Got a BGS 9.5. Good subs on there. Quality card, one of my favorites in the collection. Matthews Future Watch Auto. Number four. This was number one last year. I mean, it probably should be number two, but got the Sydney Crosby. 506 Future Watch Auto BGS 9.5. So yeah, I had this one for four years now. Min gem there for Sid. One of the centerpieces of the collection there, Sydney Crosby. Just recorded 900 assists out of this recording, but there you go, Sydney Crosby, Future Watch Auto. Number three, forever joint with Sid there is the Alex Ovechkin. Future Watch Auto PSA 9. So bought this back in the summer of 2020. Huge accomplishment back then to get this card. Awesome card there. Ovi Future Watch Auto. I would have no doubts if he gets another 50 this year, even though Washington is decimated with injuries right now. But there we go. Ovi Future Watch Auto number three. Number two, and this should be a 9.5. Get the Connor McDavid 15, 16 Future Watch Auto BGS 9.5 off. Probably that corner right there stopped it from getting a 9.5. Yeah. And the little crap on the shiny part there. Yeah, whatever. BGS 9 McDavid Future Watch Auto. If a different grade or grade of this, it could be a 9.5. Min gem. But there you go. McDavid, Future Watch Auto, number two for this year. And number one, no surprise at all, is the Austin Matthews Cup RPA. 1617 the Cup, BGS 8.5 with the 8 auto. So the subs aren't actually that bad. If I would have got 0.5 more on the corners, it would have been 9. Dang. Well, still got the 8 auto there. So maybe one day I'll send this over to PSA and get a PSA 8. But it's fine where it is right now. I'm totally fine with an 8.5 on this card. Thick stock cards are definitely harder to grade. But there you go. That's the number one card in the collection for this year, the Austin Matthews Cup RPA. So yeah, guys, there's my top top 25 cards for 2022 and for this year i will not do but with a twist because well there's more cards that aren't future watch autos in here than there are so there's that and as always thanks for watching and i'll see you guys later